a vinyl community and uh, YouTube and subscribers, anyone who's watching this video. I just wanted to do a quick, um, once again, thank you everyone. I, we just hit 100 subscribers and my modest little channel, um, I still can't believe it, but um, 100 subscribers, that's I guess kind of a milestone. But I wanted to do a, a quick video, a um, little bit of an update uh, on my turntables, and um, hopefully some of this information will help. We'll start out with the uh, Pioneer PL516. Um, I've been really loving the Stanton cartridge uh, on it, the Stanton uh, S, or I'm sorry, the uh, L. 737s we've since fitted it with a new stylus um the last time i i did a video showing this cartridge uh, people jumped all over me and said uh we hit the wrong one on there so went ahead ordered the right one you can see it's flush uh with the cartridge with the top of the cartridge and it has this really neat uh long hair brush the brush is designed for, to do a few things. It lifts dust out of the uh, vinyl itself. So some of you uh, cleaning fanatics uh, may want to consider a setup like this. The brush tracks a few uh, grooves ahead of the stylus and also uh, to the back of the pickup. And uh, I, I can tell you after playing this thing um one disc I, I couldn't believe the amount of dust that it uh scooped up so it really does work um you do have to make a little bit of an adjustment the cartridge tracks at one and a half grams but you do have to add a gram to compensate for the lift of the brush so we're at two and a half grams so all you uh, tracking junkies out there with uh, your vertical tracking force and uh, not to worry guys, we're tracking at a whopping one and a half grams here. So um, you do have to set your anti-skate accordingly. So you would set it to the weight that you would track just the cartridge itself. So we're at one and a half uh, right there. Next thing, I'm going to show you uh, what I put underneath the uh, platter mat. Okay, so our original uh, Pioneer platter mat, and underneath it, we have got a piece of uh, Caro Pack. Um, this is the anti-vibration material that I use underneath the um, Audio-Technica um, AT120. This stuff really does work. Um, it really gives it a nice, solid foundation, and it does prevent against uh, vibration and uh, rumble. So um, put that underneath. We use our disc stabilizer from uh, Audio-Technica. Don't worry, guys. Uh, the motor's strong enough. The motor can handle it. Uh, the motor is not going to blow up anytime soon, so not to worry. I, we're going to be fine. Um, next thing I wanted to show you uh, what I've been doing on the Audio Technica. Okay, so we're on the AT120, and um, we've got a cartridge on here that um, this is a P mount cartridge. This is my Audio Technica. Uh, 3482. It's a conical. Don't worry, uh, folks. The conical is tracking at a whopping 1.5 grams. We're not going to burn any vinyl. We're not going to carve any grooves in it. Uh, we're just going to play some, some great music. This is the original uh, Pioneer head shell, which came with the uh, PL516. This is a P-mount cartridge. It's mounted on a Shure adapter. 
P mount to half inch. This works fantastic. And it, this works great for thrift store vinyl, 45s, um, anything that you might have that has some uh, scratches or some pops. The cantilever is carbon fiber, so I dare any of you elliptical junkies to, to, to find an elliptical that uses a uh, carbon fiber uh, cantilever. You're not going to find one, probably not, um, but anyways, that helps uh, with uh, resonance. It's less resonant, and it's going to give you great playback on thrift store vinyl and on 45s. I think, and this is just my own opinion, I, I think conicals have a very bad rap. Um, they're much better than we give them credit for, and they're great cartridges. This thing is fantastic. It has a very high output, and it does a great job of masking some of the scratches and pops and any damaged vinyl you might have. Um, you might want to give a conical like this a try. I, I think the number is 3482P or P3482. It's a P mount. As you can see right here, it's easily adapted to half inch and don't worry guys, that, that adapter works. It's not gonna cause any uh, explosions or anything like that. Um, it does what it's supposed to do. So anyways, I'll close out this video and uh, thanks for subscribing. Uh, once again, I can't believe it, 100 subscribers and um, you guys are great. Hope you enjoyed this video, take care.